gold here. And today we're going to look at how to use a digital input in our lines of code in a standard routine for ABB IRC5 programming. Here we're going to take the example of this program that I already have written, a very short program that begins with a home position, executes four other positions or motions, and ends back at the home position it began at. So I'm going to PP to routine and right back into my routine so I can get my program pointer. And I'm going to run this program. What I want to do is insert a wait for a digital input in between these two motions here. So I'm going to execute this program and I'm going to execute this program step by step. I want the robot to go back to the home position, execute the first motion, execute the second motion, and in between the second and third motion here, or in between these two motions, I want to insert a digital input wait instruction. So I'm going to execute one line at a time. I'm going to go into auto, turn the motors on, and I'm going to step forward to one line of code. Step to the next position as we can see here. And now I'm going to step to the next. Now I want to insert a wait here. So I'm going to go back to manual. And I'm going to go back into my program because this was the production window. Back into my program here. And in between these two lines, I'm going to insert a wait for a digital input. There are multiple ways we can do it. But I'm going to use, under the Various menu, the Wait DI, Wait Digital Input instruction. When I select this instruction, it will take me to an argument screen. On my argument screen, there are two pieces of information that I have to input here. The first is the expression, what digital input are we waiting for? And digital inputs that are already configured on the system will appear on this list. If the input you're looking for does not appear on this list, then it's quite possible it's not configured correctly. So I'm going to choose Signal Digital Input 1. The next field is the state. Am I waiting for Digital Input Signal DI to equal 1 or to equal 0? In this case, I'm going to wait on it to be 1. So I press OK. And at this point in time, it has entered my wait instruction in my line of code. Now, if I double tap the first word of wait, right here, if I double tap the first word of it, of any instruction, then it will take me to an optional argument screen, as we can see here. I click optional arguments, and it allows me to add in multiple other options here, all of which we will discuss as time goes by, but there are a lot, as you can see. I can set a time flag to communicate with external devices or internally in the system. I can use a max time to make the robot wait for that digital input, but only for a maximum amount of time before it gives us the ability to skip over that line of code. In this case, I'm going with my basic use. Wait DI, wait for digital input, signal DI1 to be the state of 1. So now, if I select, if I move my cursor, my program pointer to my cursor, and in this case, I am going to go back to auto, acknowledge OK, turn my motors on, and I'm going to slow it down because it was very fast, and press play. And when I press play or start, the robot will execute the program until it gets to this wait. But the robot's going to wait at this particular line of code until this input goes high. Until it goes high. And that's just one way we have of inserting digital inputs, as we can see. We have multiple ways of working with them. And all of these options can be found under our Add Instruction menu. And under your Common, your Various, your I.O. and Program Flow are some very common ones. And we're going to start focusing on all of the other common instructions and various instructions that we'll use. So... So keep an eye on the channel. Throw a like and subscribe if you can. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we get enough people to subscribe to make the channel worthwhile to be putting out several videos a week or possibly even every day. Thanks a lot for watching. For now, go out.